Today I am going to be making a healthy charcuterie board. It gives a lot of options and different things to eat and you can just kind of pick with your fingers while you're having conversation and playing games. So I'm going to start assembling and I am starting with roasted garlic hummus which is very good for you, high in protein. So I'll just scoop that on in. Presentation is everything. And I'll save the container just in case we don't eat everything. No waste. Then I have some sliced apples and I'm just going to fill in the space around the hummus and just make it really pretty because that's what it's all about. Now that's looking oh so pretty. I'm gonna use all the apple because that's one of, to me it's like one of the stars of the show. Okay, there goes the apple. Now we're gonna add some veggies. I like to make it easy on myself and get carrots that are already ready to go. And these are the petite carrots. Much easier to dip. I'm just gonna swirl it. I'm gonna swirl it. There's only four of us, so I'm probably already over planning. This is diced papaya. I thought this would be fun. Give it a little bit of color, little finger size. Something different. Let's see if I can catch one. Here we go. It's tiny. Oh, first try. Woo, score. Look how pretty that is. It's gorgeous. Simple Mills, almond flour, sea salt crackers. Delicious healthiest option I've found. Um, that still tastes good. Mmm, so good, so good. All right, we're just gonna fill this in. I'm trying to make them look pretty, but I don't have a whole lot of time. Just a few more. That's one thing you don't wanna be short on. You don't wanna be short on the crunchies. So, I have some bread and butter pickles from Trader Joe's. These are the only one that I have found so far that do not have high fructose corn syrup in them. And they're a very decent price and absolutely delicious. So we're gonna add this to our board. Oh good, I could open it this time. And just put them in a cute little ramekin. I don't think that they're gonna eat a ton of these. So I'm just gonna do a smaller container Coming together, looking good. And then this delicious goat cheese that I have tried before. Let's see where we wanna put that. Little log, it's soft. I like a soft cheese. It's easier to deal with. Oh, get that hair out of there. That would be nasty. We'll put that over here. I need to get my little knife for that little guy. Let's taste them. You gotta taste them. Make sure they're good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put some nuts over here. I'm gonna do a bigger ramekin of this because people can keep snacking on these. All right, let's see. Where do I wanna put this? You know, I think I'm gonna switch this out because I don't really want the blueberries with the blueberry log. Hmm. I'm gonna change this out, make it smaller. We're gonna do it smaller. I think that'll be easier in the smaller ones and it will look more eye appealing for the size board that I have. Okay, and now for the cucumbers. Those are easy to place pretty. And then I'm gonna have the nuts come in tight so that I can put more crackers on the other side. 
I have these cute tools that just add to the beauty of the board. Little scooper for the hummus. And I think I'll just eat that carrot. And then I'll put this beside the pickles and I can just get this out. Knife. I'm gonna put this by the cheese. Actually, I'm just gonna cut that right in there. Let it hang out. It's kind of cute. And next are the strawberries. I'll go ahead and cut the tops off of those. Okay, we'll put them over here. They're a little damp. That way they don't touch the crackers and the apples don't mind. Okay, now in a paper towel and just kind of wipe down the little wet part. Okay, I'm gonna fill in here with the crackers. We have two different kinds, and I will tell you, I searched high and low to find healthy crackers. This is a better option that actually tastes good because if it doesn't taste good, nobody's gonna wanna eat it, right? And now I'm going to use a few of these jalapenos, and they are hot and sweet all at the same time. They are absolutely delicious. Again, Trader Joe's. I haven't found these anywhere else. Clean ingredients, no high fructose corn syrup, which is very hard to find in all of your little pickle products, unfortunately. And then I have a little jar of honey so that we can drizzle that over our apples, cheese, whatever we wanna do with that. Lots of fun stuff to do with the honey. It's delicious. And then last but not least are these Q hunks, which is some chocolate and it is 70% cacao, doing good things for your body. So you can have a snack with no guilt. Okay, so now it's time for friends to arrive. So I'm gonna plate this up, put it out here on display. Easy snacking. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.